returns on the job. Heather Brent is live in Lodi with how he refused to let the accident get in the way of his dream of opening his own restaurant. Heather? Yeah, the new restaurant's name is Phoenix. If you've had, ever heard the uh, myth behind the famous Phoenix bird, it's about a bird who rose out of the ashes after being burned, kind of recreated and stronger than ever. Thus, the name of the restaurant here. And two years ago, you were burned in a fire. Yeah, we were working at rest another restaurant, and the oven blew up on me and burned. I got burned, and I was in the hospital for a little bit. A couple surgeries. A year of rehab, and we're back. You make it sound like it was just not a big deal. Well, but from, from here looking back, it wasn't. But then it was, obviously. But but now it's you know it's, it's over, it's done with, and we we, we move on. All right. So you started the new restaurant, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. The name is very fitting. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could explain the restaurant. Well, it's an art space more than more than a. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And put oh, a lot of effort and 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 uh, inspiration to this. She knew my my vision and we've got the colors and the art and the and the theme is all about rising from the ashes I guess with a lot of everything's touched by fire all the tables and, and wood tops are all torched and burned and um, finished that way so I think it's a uh, some great elements and and it's just a, a cool urban space for great food I love this um, the menu if you could kind of explain I guess the style contemporary is kind of what you said earlier contemporary American a lot of seafood we you know we I, I love cooking seafood and I think people love eating it obviously we're selling a lot of it um, but it's different it's a little bit you know out of the box for, for where we are All right. you guys have been open just for a few weeks now how has business been we opened June 15th and it's been great guns since we haven't stopped since it's been great we've been really well received and, and we're, we're, we're very thankful for that. It's uh, It's been an awesome start. All right, I want to bring you guys back into the kitchen. Let's find out what the uh, sh other chef is cooking back here. This looks amazing. Smells amazing, too. Oh, it is great. Uh, right here we have a sous vide piece of salmon uh, that has been cooked for roughly about an hour in a water bath alongside with caramelized cipollini onions and artichoke hearts. Mm. Oh, I love artichokes. Done. I think I'm going to have to have that. Yeah. I think I need a date night. I think I need to come and eat that. Okay, so you guys are serving up just a dinner menu for now. Right, right. We're open at 5 o'clock uh, to, to Sunday. And great bar, lots of great wine lists, a lot of local wines. Uh, we use local ingredients, and it's all just good product. Okay, I've got to ask you. Okay. If you could give advice to anybody, because earlier you said, now looking back, your struggle wasn't so hard, but back then, looking forward was difficult. So yeah. anybody who's going through something hard, what would you tell them? It, 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 it ends. You know, you you, it, it, you get over it, and and you just got to push on. The wounds heal for the yeah, most part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still reminders, but we 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 just persevere. All right, all right. Come on down to downtown Lodi. Check out Phoenix. Amazing in here, you guys. Great little date night dinner. Sounds good. Right. Fantastic. Good message in a gorgeous dining room yes. there. All right, Heather Brent. Thanks. Hey, happy.